America 2015. What a trip. When Emily and Jack met, they had an instant connection. Although I'm, I wasn't quite aware of it at first on the trip, but you could see they just couldn't stop talking to each other. I remember there was one night we were, lay, uh, we were just in our motel rooms, laying in bed, and her phone was just getting so many notifications. I was like, it's 2 a.m. in Australia. Who can you possibly be talking to? And she's like, oh, just one of the lads. I'm like, what are you talking about? You met this guy like a couple of days ago. Like, that's part of the 20,000 notifications. After three weeks, many memories later, the Kentucky tour was over and we parted our ways. Or so I thought. From that point on, Sully, Sibley and myself gained a fourth travel companion, Finchie, in the form of Sully's phone. Two years later, might I add, that Jack decided to go ahead and drive all the way to Brookfield, a good 50 minutes drive, to bring Finchie KFC. Emily Frances Pye Finch, you take Jack Ronald Sullivan to be your lawful wedded husband. You promise to love and respect him, be honest with him and stand by him always. I do. I call upon the persons here present to witness that I, Emily Pye Finch, take you, Jack Sullivan, to be my lawful wedded husband. Jack, when we first met travelling through America, I never anticipated the journey that we would embark on together. There was an immediate shift for me, and suddenly you became part of my life so naturally that I didn't even realise it was happening. Over the next few months, we had many lunch dates, although we never officially acknowledged the mistake, exchanged over 20,000 messengers in two weeks and caused my entire family to constantly ask if we were dating until, on this day, three years ago, I sat in my car on the phone to you while you worked up the courage to ask me to be your girlfriend. Happy anniversary, by the way. I am the Mike Wazowski to your Sully, and the Mulder to your Scully. You keep me grounded, resilient, and realistic without ever dimming my sparkle. I vow to love you at your best and at your worst. I promise to never go to bed angry and to love and respect you for the incredible person you are, even when you're driving me bananas. I vow to be your biggest cheerleader. Your goals are always my goals too and I will always support you, uplift you, and encourage you to chase your dreams. I vow to challenge you too, but no matter where life takes us, I will always be by your side. Emily, some people are able, are able to pinpoint the precise moment they realised they had found the person they wanted to spend the rest of their life with. I had thought about this for a while because I had found it hard to pinpoint that moment for myself. But I quickly realised this was because Almost since the day I'd met you, I've always felt an overwhelming sense of things being right, like they were just meant to be. It took me a little while to realise how special this feeling actually is, and I'm always grateful that this was, this was and is the case. You are my steadfast support, my number one, my instant pickup when I'm feeling low, my personal encyclopedia on Harry Potter, and just about movies in general. Thank you. 
A vow to support your interests and nourish your passions from all the different types of sports ball I know now. <laughs> to your passion for mint choc ice cream and mowing the lawn. I vow to remain loyal to you always and I vow to be serious when the situation calls for it but mostly to laugh at you for the rest of the time because I can't help but enjoy life to the fullest extent when you're around. I vow to take care of you when you're sick, tired, when your back's sore, when you've dislocated your shoulder for the billionth time or even when you just forget to take care of yourself. I vow to create a household we both love and raise children with you as my partner and my equal. I promise to raise our children knowing that the first 12 seasons of The Simpsons are the only ones that matter. <laughs> and that Alex Turner is the greatest frontman since Freddie Mercury, in our opinion. <laughs> I vow to protect you from all the spooky things that go bump in the night and to sing freely with you every time a good song comes on in the car, which is always. not only a brilliant partner to me but also fiercely honest loyal and supportive and that's something I'll never take for granted I love you with my heart and soul every part of me sings praise and love for you I can't wait to be your wife for life and to wake up every day to tell you how much I love you my husband and I vow going into our lives together as husband and wife to love you as you deserve to be loved with admiration Adoration, passion, and respect. I vow to support your interests and nourish your passions from your unraveled love for a good book, to your obsession with true crime, and your love for our pets and just dogs in general, to your, your attraction to the most bright and colourful and sparkly clothing you can get your hands on, and a strange but cute Japanese cartoon egg. I vow to take you seriously when you need to be taken seriously and to laugh with you the rest of the time. I vow to remain your anchor of support to help you see joy in any gloom, no matter what is happening that might make our lives difficult or trying. I vow to make you my number one priority. And I vow to remain by your side as we grow old, to make you tea with too much milk, to sit together and watch the world go by, to have a slap down at the wrist hole, <laughs> and to continue to repeat the question after you said what for the fifth time, <laughs> which isn't far away considering our current hearing. So, <laughs> Emily, you're my rock, the one who laughs at all my jokes, the one that's there to hold my hair, hand in scary movies, the first one to pick me up when I've fallen down. Importantly, you're my, my best friend and the love of my life, and that is something that I'm truly blessed to get to wake up to every day. I love you and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life.
have known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed, you have been making commitments in an informal way. All of those conversations that were held in a car or over a meal or during long walks, all those conversations that began with, when we're married, and continued with, I will, and you will, and we will. All those late night talks that included someday, and somehow, and maybe, and all those promises that were unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. I have great pleasure in presenting to you Mr. and Mrs. Solomon. Welcome to uh, Emily, to our family. I, uh, I, um, I hope you feel as welcome to our family as I know that um, Frank and Lorraine and Rob have made Jack feel to us. Thank you just doesn't seem enough. Every year that I grow older, I become more and more appreciative of everything that you've ever done for me. For all the values that you've given me, the opportunities you worked so hard to give Rob and myself, I will never be able to repay you, but all I can hope is that Jack and I can make you proud by instilling the same values into our own children and giving them the opportunities, the love and devotion that we have always been shown. Lorraine and I are very proud of our daughter, Emily, and we're very pleased that she's found someone who appreciates her quirky sense of humour, which I'm sure you've seen on display today, uh, and her love of music, which I'm sure you've heard today. I believe that as well as having love and mutual respect, it's very important to a relationship to be able to laugh together and to be able to share music together. I can't imagine a life without you, Emily. Every day I'm fortunate enough to wake up to your love and support and friendship, an infectious smile, fantastic sense of humour and your unwavering passion for the things and people you love. I've looked forward to today for a long time, but I also look forward to every other day we get to spend together. Emily, and I'm so happy that you found the love of your life. 